Welcome back, trainers. So we're going to be taking a look at the new Pokemon Go download update for Go Battle League and how it actually broke it. So I'd uh, advise you to probably not download it. So I just want to showcase really quick. You can swap to catch moves with the new switching system. Some people were saying that it wasn't allowing them to catch. You know, they were uh, having their opponent throw the charge move and then it was allowing them to switch. But you can if you time it correctly. Maybe that's just me. Uh, but yeah, so we're going to see several issues here uh, throughout the video with this new update. And then we're going to actually have to uninstall it and reinstall the old version. Uh, and in order to correct the error that we're going to see here. And then there's another visual glitch that didn't, didn't necessarily break the actual gameplay, but it was just kind of a weird glitch and it can confuse a lot of people. Uh, and it is because of the new Go Battle League update. Otherwise, I haven't really seen anything else outside of the game or outside of PvP that is necessarily broken, but I haven't really been doing much. Uh, some people said that it is constantly loading slow, so there may be other issues. I am on Android, by the way. And we're going to be kind of like showcasing Venusaur, right? We're going to, you know, focus on the battles too. And we're going to be using Shadow Tyranitar as well as Quillfish. This team was great. I may be switching out a few Pokemon here and there, but I think for the most part, we're going to be going with this. After I did uninstall, reinstall, you know, your parties are all deleted. So I remade them and I accidentally put on, uh, if you follow me on Twitter, I purchased a secondary move on my other Shadow Tyranitar that does not have the Community Day Smackdown. It just has Bite. So I accidentally picked that one. I don't think we're going to see that battle, but a lot of wacky things going on. So anyways, they're going to be swapping and going into their muck. And we're going to go ahead and go over the bugs as we see them when they come. All right. But for now, let's just focus on the commentary. So we're going to be building up a little bit of extra energy here going for our first crunch. Their quick move is resisted, and they're going in here with the Azumarill. Unfortunately, we're not able to get to another charge move while they're able to charge up a bit there. So we still have two shields, so not all is bad quite yet. They're going to be going for that Ice Beam, shielding that up. And we're going to go ahead and go for this Frenzy plan here. <laughs> Sorry, I had to stop the commentary. You probably didn't even notice. Just got a call from my mechanic, and boy, oh boy, my car is... Uh... Is a piece of crap. <laughs> All right. Never buy from shady dealerships, especially if their name is Vito. Vito Auto Sales, to be specific. So, nice little shout out to them. Anyways, <laughs> let's get back into the commentary here. I got my mind on that. Anyways, we're met with a Toxicroak with our Quillfish. Now, check out the water gun damage. It's going to be adding up very nicely here. Uh, on the other hand, if they hit us with a mud bomb, super effective. So, it's not like we're in the clear here. So, they're going to be using a shield. I mean, that's okay. That's fine. We got a shield out of them. Now, I think it's going to be best if I shield this up. So there we go. I was afraid they were about to hit another one back to back, but we're able to actually get to this. If they want to use both shields, by all means, go ahead. All right. Sounds good to me. So they're going to go ahead and do that. I think we let this go now. Yeah. And we're going to go in here with, uh, obviously, Venusaur. We're going to try to farm, but they switch immediately into a Beedrill. And we're going to just bring in our Tyranitar here. Now, I think I make a crucial mistake. And that is, like, I was looking at my crunch. I was like, come on. All right. We have it. Uh, so the Toxic Croak, right? Oh, I was expecting the Toxic Croak to come in here. You know what? I think they, they threw their uh, Azumarill to absorb all of the charge moves. So, uh, we went for Crunch and yeah, that, that was bad. We could have went for Stone Edge and did a ton of damage. I'm talking about almost completely wiping that thing out. I mean, it would have still been alive, but we would have been in a lot better position than we are now taking this Ice Beam or play rough. Okay. never mind. All right. So I think we're good. So there, it's, uh, that Azumarill is going to be Play Rough Hydro Pump. Uh, thank goodness. I was running into a few of those today, which <laughs> it helped me out. Thank goodness they had that set. So you're going to be able to take that win because of the uh, moveset on the Azumarill. Fantastic. All right, into the next battle. We're met with Amanda Buzz here. I mean, it could be worse. It could be worse. It could be a Gavantula, right? Now that hurts Coolfish quite a bit. So we're just going to go ahead and stay in this fight here. Uh, I may use a shield and then we're going to go in here with Tyranitar. I think, well, I think we're going to let this just go through. It's a Dark Pulse. Dang it, of course. All right, so at least we're able to get to another Aqua Tail. That's pretty good. Uh, missing a bomb. Oh my gosh. Uh, so the Mandibuzz is a tank, as you can tell here. So let's go ahead and go Tyranitar and take it out before it can even get off a charge move. Beautiful. And they're going in with Wigglytuff, and wow, just a couple of those absolutely devastated us. Don't you like that nice zoom in? Man, they're really adding those features, but like we said, it is it is a bit broken. So uh, I like how the direction they're going. Maybe they can just perfect it soon. Uh, so Victory Bell, not looking great. Getting that shield out of them, getting one through. And what are we going to do? Shield up an Acid Spray? I think so. We need to preserve this Venusaur by all means 
because of the wiggly tuff and i'm just looking at the clock like come on let me go please and we're able to swap. So we swap immediately, and they're going to be going into the Wiggly Tough. We're going to use the Crunch here. Please, we need the shield. We get the shield. Guys, check this out. This Venusaur has been coming in clutch for me all day. Surviving with 1 HP. It's been doing this. It's doing that 1 HP survival. Getting off the Frenzy Plant. Taking the win with the shield. Let's go folks all right really liking this team here as you can see i'm still hanging around 2700 <laughs> yeah i i mean i honestly have no excuses it's been a little laggy but i'm not gonna certainly blame it on that it's it hasn't been to, so bad to the point where it is holding me back from ranking up a little putter here and there but it's just either the leads or just misplays or just me simply not doing it correctly right i'm just gonna take the blame right we're screwing up <laughs> Anyways, they're going to be swapping into Quillfish, and oh boy, we're going to go right into that Venusaur. They're letting it go through. That kind of rose an eyebrow, and uh, I was a little curious as to why they did that, but that's fine. Uh, they're going to be coming back in here with the Crustle, which <laughs> I can't complain at all. They're letting that go through. It's like, I'm thinking, okay, whatever's back here has got to be some sort of god tier if they're going to put all their hope in it. But then again, I put all my hope in a Tyranitar with two shields, which is a dumb idea. A shadow one at that. So it is going to be a Galvantula. <laughs> the Venusaur able to get off a Frenzy. <laughs> they're probably so pissed and annoyed. Like, that stupid Venusaur. Uh, so here you go. Did you see the glitch? Did you see that? We swapped, but that's the Quillfish, and it visually showed the Tyranitar using an Aqua Tail. It, it was a Quillfish, and we were doing our quick moves. If you look at the uh, damage... Uh, being distributed to the Galvantula uh, while the Tyranitar or the Quillfish ty in Tyranitar's skin is sitting there. All right, so what happened was an opponent um, backed out. And after that happened, I, when I did download this new update, I was, you know, confused because it wasn't letting me into Go Battle League. It kept giving me the six error or whatever. I think we're going to look at it down the line here. Uh, but I eventually just had to uninstall the game. Now, there are other fixes that people were telling me. Now, we're going to stop the commentary for a moment. I'm going to talk about this. Uh, the fix is if you're getting that error with the new update, not letting you in to go Battle League after somebody quit, or maybe just simply not letting you in, period, for whatever reason. Uh, getting an invite or sending an invite or receiving an invite or receiving a raid invite or getting going to a raid or something like that to that caliber, I was told on Twitter, could potentially uh, clear that out and you'll be able to get into go Battle League again. If you do not want to reinstall or uninstall and then reinstall an older version. Now, I did go through a website for the APK. Uh, it, it, they are rolling it out and some people do have it normal. And it, this is still happening and occurring. Somebody made a comment. Well, maybe it's just you downloading it when it's not supposed to be. And that's why it's happening. Now, that's not the case. This is actually happening with everybody. So anyway, yeah, that's pretty much the rundown. Uh, the person who quit out. How do I feel about dodging? I mean, it's annoying. I don't really mind it too much as long as I don't take a loss you know, when they quit out, because sometimes that does happen. Um, and a lot of times I hear like their Pokemon and it would have been a good lead. I can't see it because it just shows a white screen. It's like, come on. Like they didn't know, like maybe sometimes they like, oh, it's Poke. He's got a freaking Mawile in the front. I better back out or, oh, Poke just made a video on this. He was leading with this thing that's super effective to my team. I'm backing out. Or maybe somebody just doesn't want to be in the video. But it's not just me. People dodge everybody else. I, I've heard about it. But I honestly don't care too much. I just wish Niantic would fix their game when people did do that, right? Anyways, yeah, there's my thoughts on that. I'm not too concerned. So we have a Wiggly Tough here. And uh, yeah, you know, we're resisting the charms. We're just going to go ahead and build up to two of those Frenzy Plants. Almost. I was, I was like, ah... Uh, Let's go ahead and get this off real quick here, and then building up to another one here, and yeah, let's see. Yeah, getting that through, of course. No more shields. In comes the Marowak, and that sounds good to me. I'm going to go ahead and go in here with the cool fish and finish it off real quick. What do we have back there? It's going to be a... Oh, crap. <laughs> Clefable. Now, I could have... I, I know I couldn't have gotten to Sludge Wave. It wasn't happening. So look at this. I'm like, ah! Oh. Now, if I would have swapped right there, I think we would have been okay, but I didn't. Because we would have had a Quillfish with like 1 HP, so double KO. Ah, that's the freaking second time that's happened to me today. Into the next battle, we're met with a Azumarill. Now, if you still are seeing the swap on the side, like, well, I thought you, you know, uninstalled this version and put the new older one in. I did, uh, but we're, I just wanted to show you that before we continued on. So you have an understanding of what's what I was talking about in the beginning of the video. Uh, so, yeah. 
Otherwise, the only glitch that I really saw was going to be the Tyranitar being the cool fish. And technically, we're still doing our damage, so whatever. Uh, anyways, in this battle here, now I keep making the mistake of going for the bait. Constantly, constantly going for the bait and nobody's falling for it. I went for the sludge wave and they freaking shield it up. Happens every time. Oh, all right. Classic for me. Classic. So we are in here with the crustal with our Tyranitar. We're going to go ahead and shield up this X scissor here. And we're just tearing into that thing with Smackdown. Now we'll have a charge move ready to go. And in comes Toxicroak and takes us out. Now we made a huge mistake here. We could have won this potentially by hitting Crunch and getting a shield out of them. Or just doing a bunch of damage. But I procrastinated and I kept tapping in the middle. I'm like, what, I, what is it going to be? Toxicroak came in and just punched the... Punched it in the face and said, get out of here, boy. Uh, so, yeah, we're not going to win this battle here. Hitting that Frenzy Plant, and Venusaur is just doing what it can at this point. But you, you live and you learn. You make mistakes. It is what it is. So, all right, here we go. We're going to see what happened. Uh, so, I, you know, I'm not trying to shame this trainer, but this, I'm just trying to show you exactly what happened so you know. So here we are about a battle when it takes so long. Like, yeah, they're quitting. And they quit, and then I'm getting this error. And then, yeah, screen stays like that for a minute. And uh, here we are trying to go into Go Battle League, getting these, this error here. Sorry, error six occurred. Sorry, error six occurred. Cleared cache, restarted my app, um, four stopped the app, and it still occurred. So, yep, I uh, had to reinstall the older version. So, anyways, into the next battle here. We're met with a crustle. They're going to be swapping into the Wormadam, where we're going to go right into our Tyranitar, which is going to be resisting the confusions, but it's going to be taking super effective from their charge moves, Iron Head and or Bug Buzz. Bug Buzz is going to just devastate us. That would be an easy one-shot. Iron Head would be an easy one-shot, too, I do believe, because we're Shadow. Although, I don't, actually, I don't think Iron Head would one-shot at, at that range there. Maybe, maybe, but not at full health. Bug Buzz would definitely take us out because we're, uh, actually, I don't think that would either. But anyways, <laughs> uh, into this crustal battle, we're going to be swapping into our Quillfish to absorb this X Scissor here. Not very effective, so I thought that was a pretty good swap. <laughs> I think that was a good swap, and they're swapping into Galvantula like, ah. So there's no more shields here, and all right, what are we going to do? Go in here with Tyranitar to just absorb this. Yeah, it's super effective, but I'd rather take that lunge and have them use energy here. So what can we do? Oh, I wanted to kind of maybe farm down, but I was like, all right, let's hit this. But then we had a CMP tie, and we wasted that energy. I don't know if we can pull ourselves out of this one here. Can we get to a Frenzy Plant? Venusaur coming clutch again. Again, my, my man's coming in clutch with the Frenzy Plant surviving with like 3 HP this time. Let's get it, folks. All right, Venusaur is amazing. Into the next battle, we have a Mandibuzz again, so... I think this time, instead of going for Aquatel, I'm like, I'm just going to go for the big shot here. Go figure, they'll probably use the shield. So thank goodness they do have foul play, so we can survive the uh, quick moves afterwards, as opposed to the uh, Dark Pulse. So getting that through, doing a lot of damage, very nice. They do have energy, but we're going to go Tyranitar and take them out before they can get it off. Now let's see what they're going to counter us with. And it's going to be a Quillfish with Water Gun. We're going to go ahead and swap into our Venusaur, and they have a Crustal back here. All right, so... I think we could still win this one, uh, but it's getting a little sweaty. So basically, those uh, those quick moves on the crustal are just destroying me, right? At this point, I'm thinking, okay, if I shield these up, I feel like they're going to take me out with the quick moves. So should we save a shield for, for Tyranitar? They're letting it go through. In comes a Quillfish. I'm like, I guess? I think what they wanted to do was, all right, they're going to try to take me out here. But the thing is... And then, like, they'll have energy for my Tyranitar. But I'm going to be able to get to another one of these. We're going to go ahead and swap immediately. SmackDown's doing so much damage. They're going to be kind of forced to throw their charge move here. And that is going to enable the Venusaur to potentially win. Or not. No. God, that was close. All right, into the next battle. We met with a Shadow Mawile. Now, let's talk about the Shadow Mawile for a minute. Pretty crazy, right? That it's literally my mascot Pokemon. And, you know, you guys know what it is with me and Shadow Mawile. Era, and, and I'm not even really using it, and it's so meta, right? Because it's too predictable for me nowadays, and I want to try something else out. It's crazy, I know, I know. We have all these battles. I'm always using Shadow Mawile when Great League's out, and now we have a specific cup in the Go Battle League, and it's literally on the top, and I'm not even using it. I don't know why. I don't know. All right, but anyway, I still love it, obviously. 
Uh, it's funny because I equip it as my buddy before I start battling for the day. Like, I'm going to use it, right? <laughs> so we have the Venusaur up against Galvantula here. They got off those freaking lunges, which lowered my attack. In comes uh, the Shadow Tyranitar, which is, I think, pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and go in with the Quillfish to bring it down. Now, what we're going to have to do is uh, shield this up and then smack down the... Uh, Galvantula. So yeah, we're looking pretty good. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new and I'll be keeping you up to date. Thanks for watching and take care.